Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. This morning, I am gonna be doing a little bit of meal prep. I had a request to do a video on a couple of different things that I was cooking this week, and I figured I need to do this stuff anyways. I need to get it made so that I will have my food ready to go when everybody else has their non-keto food. So, I figured, why not? I'll just go ahead and do a video on it. So, what I'm making is some egg roll in a bowl and also some ham and cheese, fathead, roll-up kind of things. I don't even know what you would call them other than ham and cheese, fathead, roll-up things. So, anyways, I'm starting to make my fathead dough right now, and I got my other stuff ready, so I'm going to get started. So, I got my fathead stuff to kind of mix together. I just made a half batch of the fathead dough. Since I'm the only one that's going to eat it, and I don't want to make a huge amount, so I thought that'd be easier to kind of deal with. Get me some parchment paper. So, get me a piece of parchment paper out. Dump that out. Kind of make sure it's mixed up really well. And it is so sticky. Thinner than what it is now. Gonna try and make it a little bit thin. So it won't take as long to cook. Let's see. I think that is pretty close. And I have already got my oven preheating. I'm going to take the square it off like this. And then I'm going to make it like triangle. Like that. I don't know if you can see how I did it. already preheating and I've got some ham over here I'm gonna use and I just got regular old sliced cheese just because 
that's just my preference for something like this, which I know the macros on it would probably be better if it was like cheddar or something, which you can use whatever kind of cheese you like. I think it's really good with that kind of cheese or like Swiss. So I'm gonna take, like here's the first one. I'm gonna take and put a little piece of ham, piece of cheese. Well, it's like actually a half a piece of cheese. And then do that. And I'm just gonna kinda roll it up like that and stick it on the pan and get the next one going. And with it being like a triangle, the dough, it kind of helps it to make it easier to roll up and kind of see what you're doing. I'm putting like two pieces of ham and then a half a slice of cheese and I'm just rolling it up like that. But I got my oven preheating on 350 and honestly, I couldn't remember even like the fat head, what's the temperature and time and stuff. So I'll just go 350 and I'm just going to kind of keep an eye on it. And it's preheated. That and another piece of ham and just roll it up. And these are going to be so good. And then. Of course, my family, they're having crescent ham and cheese things with little crescent rolls like in the can. So I will have mine all ready to go. So I'll just have to make theirs. And these are so easy and they reheat really good. And two, if you want to make like a big batch, you could just freeze them and just like set them out whenever, if you want some that day. But I'm making like six of them from a half batch of fat head dough. And so I'll probably freeze a couple of them. So that I'll have that easy lunch kind of already made. These are ready to go in the oven. Okay, so got those in the oven and they're cooking. So now I'm going to start on my egg roll in a bowl. Okay, so I'm just starting with, this is what sausage I had in the freezer when I got it really cheap. So that's what I'm going to use. I think it's a little bit less than the regular packets because it's in the patties, but it'll work. So I'm gonna start getting that cooking. First, and then I got my bag coleslaw and got some minced garlic and soy sauce and this garlic I just got this from Dollar Tree and it lasts a long time I put it in everything it's really good so get this sausage cooking up I got my ham and cheese things in the oven so my sausage is getting cooked up and starting to get out my stuff so I can make a batch of yum yum sauce. Mm. Almost. That. And then I'm going to take, and with the sausage is about done. So I'm going to put a little bit of minced garlic in there. Mm. 
mix it all around in there and let it get cooking. for my yum yum sauce and I think I'm gonna make like a half a batch of it so my garlic is all cooked and my sausage and I'm just gonna dump this coleslaw mix in there And if you've never made this before, use a big skillet because the first time I made it, I used a small skillet and I didn't do that again because I made a big mess because the cabbage went everywhere. And I just put a little bit of soy sauce kind of all over the cabbage and it'll start cooking down. I'm getting my yum yum sauce over here going. I just I just dump everything into a mason jar and just shake it up and mix it like that and it's pretty easy that way. Got my ketchup. And this yum yum sauce is so good. On everything, really. I need a teaspoon of sriracha. tablespoon of stevia Some fourth of a tablespoon of rice vinegar which that's a little bit too much Garlic powder. I'm going to go back and mix up my cabbage and stuff a little bit. It takes a little while to get it all cooked down. But if you just keep mixing it, it'll get there. To the sides or anything. And I literally just put this, shake it. And it's done. Stick it in the refrigerator. Ta-da! And it would be so good. So I'm gonna stick that in there and that'll be ready to go. It is so good on there. And I'm just gonna keep Probably done. Look at what that looks like. Oh my goodness, look how yummy those look. I'm going to take them off the pan so they won't keep cooking though. This is what the ham and cheese fathead things look like after they're all cooked. Don't they look yummy? Okay, I'm still cooking this cabbage up. 
I don't think it's all the way ready just yet, but it looks so pretty. And it is getting there. I'll spread it out so it'll cook. Oh, good. So this is looking like it is about done. So I'm just gonna separate it into little containers so I can reheat it. All my stuff ready to go. I got my egg roll in a bowl and I got my little ham and cheese wrap things. Lost one of those because I had to eat it for breakfast because it was looking so good. But I'm gonna let these cool a little bit before I put the lids on them and get them put up. So oh, now I've just got to do all the dishes and clean up all the mess from all the meal prep. But now I've got all these meals ready to go and ready for dinners and lunches and everything. And so it's totally worth it. I've just got to clean up the mess now. So I hope you like this video and make sure that you're subscribed to see more videos like this. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye guys.